Welcome to Tamu TV, celebrating and exposing young entrepreneurs in Ghana and Africa at large. Today, I'm your host, Ebenezer Suman, and we are at MSIMS coming to interview their CEO to know an exploit in the past few years in the entrepreneurial role. Welcome once again to Tano TV. I'm still your host, Ebenezer Suman, and we are here at M Sims interviewing their CEO, Mabel Simpson, to know more and better about air. Welcome, Mabel, to Tano TV. Thank you, Ebenezer. Yeah, we've heard a lot about you, but we want to know more about you as our viewers would like to know. Um, my name is Mabel Simpson, and I run an accessory line called M Sims. We make handmade handbags slippers, clutch purses, I mean any accessory that I can think about, iPad cases, laptop bags and um, our main aim is to promote the African print or African fashion onto the international market. So maybe can you tell us is that what you studied at school or even tell us about your school, your state education background? I studied visual arts in Wesley Girls High School and um, I majored, I did graphic design in KNUST. Yeah. That's cool. So since when did you start with MSIMS and why MSIMS? MSIMS is in its fourth year. I started the company in August 2010 after I'd resigned from my job. And um, when I started, I just wanted to do something different. I was looking for an opportunity to um, promote African fashion, promote something made in Ghana. So I looked around and I asked myself that apart from clothing, I mean, what else can be done with the African print? So I just started and I just didn't like the idea that people just had to wait till like Fridays before they can do the Friday wear or wait for Sundays before going to church, you know, before they wear something African. I wanted it to be a part of us, be an everyday then so the main idea was okay you can still go to church you can sorry you can still go to work in your corporate outfit and then wear something african so you have an african print handbag so that was the main idea just make sure making sure that the african print was a part of us like every day just not on weekend from what you said you were working before you started emson so what inspired you what tried to drive you away from your work to start emson is that because of your salary or what um, it wasn't because of my salary. I mean, if you ask any business person, they're going to tell you that running your own business is quite tough because at the end of the month, you don't know, I mean, you don't know how much you're going to earn. But then if you're working in a corporate institution, you know, I mean, your paycheck, you know how much you're going to earn at the end of the month. So it wasn't about the salary. It was about um, doing something different. It's about following your passion, following your dreams. Um, I've always wanted to run my own company or own my own company someday and it got to a point that I felt that I had to start. It, most of the time people think that you need a lot of money to start a business but um, when I started I realized that no you don't need a lot of money you need you can start with a little that you have because I started running MSIMS with just 200 Ghana CDs that's how much I started the company with and um, for the machines and other things, materials, I borrowed my grandmother's machine, which was like 53 years old. So you just need to um, rely on family and friends. If you can get some of your materials or you can get support from them, you can start with that. And as you, you grow the company, you invest in the business. So that's it. It's so always about reinvesting in the company. So for me, I feel that, yes, we all finished school mm -hmm. and the first thing that comes to mind is to go from office to office to look for work but we can also create jobs for people okay so look at what you are saying is it a smooth road for you from where you started up to now it hasn't been a smooth road i mean in life's journey even personally there, there's nothing like a smooth road even when you're traveling on the road you're certainly going to i mean hit speed 
from um, sorry, your sudden going to hit potholes and speed bumps and all. It, it's not a smooth journey, but you learn from your mistakes. The challenges are going to come. You overcome the challenges and then you learn from them. So it hasn't been an easy road, but I believe that if you know where you're heading to, if you know what you want to achieve, nothing is going to stop you. So you listen to young entrepreneurs saying their main challenge is money. A lot, most people say money. What of yours? Yeah, the money is an issue, but then that shouldn't be your. I mean, that should be something that's going to stop you from achieving your dreams. Like I always say, you always need to reinvest. I think a lot of people are not able to manage their companies because they start and you know they are looking and making millions of cities within the first two months. I mean, it takes a while for businesses to grow. I mean, some businesses take five years, ten years before they get to where they're going to get to. So you always need to reinvest. You need to separate your personal account from your business account. But a lot of people are not disciplined enough. You need to be very disciplined to, you know, do that. So it's the discipline that kills a lot of people. It's a discipline that a lot of people don't have. Mabel, you see some young people as yourself in this country trying to do these accessory styles, always putting some products in the market. People don't like it because they don't see it to be quality because it's made in Ghana. How will you classify your, your quality level? For me, when I started MSIMS or um, before I, I got into business, one of the things that I told myself I was going to do was to try and get the notion out of people's heads that made in Ghana products are not of good quality so I try to ensure that whatever products we're taking out is of good quality we buy the best raw materials to produce whatever we're doing if it's leather the leather we get them from a supplier who brings them from Italy and um, yeah other people are trying to do it but there's a reason why we've stayed in business for four years and counting it means that we are doing something right it means that we've improved on whatever we started it means that people appreciate whatever we are doing it means that Ghanaians are appreciating made in Ghana products now and a lot of people start and then yeah they they drop out because looking at it you think that it's it's an easy thing to do but it um, it's a whole lot of work it's you need to be a marketer you need to be a salesperson you need to be a brand person it's a whole lot of work in one so it's not easy it's just not about you know creating the product we've had instances where people have asked if we buy already made bags and then just put the fabric on no but everything we make here is made from scratch we cut the we have we buy the leather in the big piece and then we cut it up and then we stitch everything together so everything is made from scratch everything is handmade wow okay so maybe four years down the lane what have you received as an award or anything just to recommend your work? Um, in um, 2011, we were part of the 10 finalists for the Joy FM My Business 2011. And um, in a few months after that, I took part in the Enablers UT Bank Business Launchpad competition, which um, our second runner up. And um, in 2013, we won brand accessory of the year at the Great Africa Fashion Week and um, in 2013 again we were we won the hand, best handbag and purse product of the year um, at the first Ghana made product awards and um, we've also had the privilege of being featured on the BBC World News yeah then you are, you are doing amazing things what are your visions well, um, for me, I always say that in the next few years, MSIMS should be known worldwide. We should be known in all the African countries. We should have, we should have been um, you know, on the runways of the Milan Fashion Week, the New York Fashion Week. That's what we are aiming to look at. We want that someday someone is going to say that, okay, the Gucci's were based in Europe, but there was a Ghanaian bag maker who can match up to the Gucci's and the Louis Vuitton. That's good. What edges you on and what makes you think you get where you are dreaming of? <laughs> uh, anything that you think of or anything you want to do, you can achieve it once you put the effort to it. So, I mean, if others have done it, why can't you do it? 
So just let alone knows me that I'll get to wherever I want to get to. So what we maybe would like to be remembered for? The bag maker of Ghana. Wow. wow. Okay, before we wrap up, Mabel, do you have any words to tell to your viewers, your people, your fans, your mentees, anybody who is supporting you, anything you would like to say? Well, I like to say that, I mean, if you're running a business, you need to have discipline. You need to, um, you know, tell yourself that you can do it. And it comes with a lot of teamwork. You just can't do everything alone. So you need to um, make sure that you build a good team that can push things. And also, I mean, you don't need a lot of money to start whatever you want to do. You can start small and then grow it big. Yeah, so whatever your dreams is, just follow it.